Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of The Mayor's Table. Today we're celebrating two of the best weekends of the year to be here in the city of Farmington. We're talking about Road Apple Rally, Four Corners Balloon Festival, and of course the Southwest Apple and Chili Fest in downtown Farmington. You're not going to want to miss this episode. Lots going on. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, Farmington Mayor Nate Duckett. Thank you for joining us for another episode of The Mayor's Table. We are moving into my favorite time of year, which everybody knows is fall, because that's the best time to be here in the Four Corners, and it's also the best time for outdoor festivals. So with me today, I have some amazing guests who have been frequent flyers here on The Mayor's <laughs> Table. We have the Parks, Recreation, Cultural Affairs Director, Natalie Spruill. Natalie, thanks for being here. Thank you for yeah. having me. Absolutely. And President CEO of the Farmington Chamber of Commerce, Jamie Church. Yep, I'm here, thank you. So the reason you guys are here is because these events very much deal with your realm, uh, your expertise and your staffs, everybody who's involved in both the Chamber and Parks and Recreation. So let's kick it off. I mean, cool. we're talking about first the weekend of September 30th, That's right? That's correct. Yep. Right? September 29th is the Friday morning ascension of, of the Four Corners Balloon Four Rally. Four Corners Balloon Rally, our second year of what is going to be an annual event and the second year is always better than the first year. And why is that? Well, that's absolutely correct in most cases, but I, it's we're gonna, it's gonna be a big feat to top the first year balloon rally as, as it is with the city presenting it. We had an incredible event last year. Um, I think I might still be on a high from that event. I've turned <laughs> into a crazy balloon enthusiast. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, but yeah, we're really excited to um, get back into the balloon rally here in, here in our area. You know, it was last year I was blown away by just the general attitude of, of just people in the community when they saw the balloons go up. It's mm -hmm. almost like this inner child inside just let out and there were smiles everywhere. Yeah. And um, I think the only way maybe it could be better, obviously we have a lot of great things going on, but if we could get all those mass ascensions off in the morning at the lake, which is very weather dependent, sure. right? If the wind is up, it makes it difficult for balloons to go up or mm -hmm. even the balloon glow. We know we had one night of wind where we couldn't get the balloon glow, but yeah. break it down for us, Natalie, what exactly is going to be happening? Because this kicks off Friday, September 29th, as you said. That's correct. And I think the first event is going to be that mass ascension at Lake Farmington, which starts at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yep. Every morning. So we have, if again, weather dependent, we've got ma um, mass ascensions on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday morning. So it's September 29th, 30th, and October 1st. They'll take off starting at seven o'clock in the morning and you know again depending if there's a little bit of breeze or something involved with that then you know we'll maybe start a little bit later but between seven and nine a.m those three mornings we'll be having the mass ascension out at farmington lake yeah it's such a beautiful setting did you get to go out there last year Jenny? i did i did and the balloons came right over our house yeah. i mean they came up from the lake and we were actually talking to the pilots yes and <laughs> hi good morning it was so amazing i'm i'm really looking forward to it great I event I tell you, I am a programmer at heart. I have been programming longer than I have not been programming mm -hmm. in my life. And the Balloon Rally is such an organic community event. Like, And that's hard to explain if you've never been involved with one, but it is. I mean, it's so interactive. It's so engaging. I had the opportunity to go up um, for a balloon ride last year. and. Uh, my first balloon ride, so I'm not quite sure how, you know, what to think or how to anticipate. And so we're starting to go down. We're over by um, the college soccer field area, or the multi-purpose field there. And um, we land and all of a sudden, it just seems like out of nowhere, all these people like no, they're just planted and they just come out and they help <laughs> you pack up your balloon. I'm like, Wait, what are we doing here? How do I need to help with this? <laughs> but it truly oh, is. And, and the buzz in the community, whether you like to see or view the ascensions, whether you want to be a volunteer to help on a crew, they need chase crews for um, all of those ascensions. Uh, you know, again, we've got a lot of activities um, in the evenings. The balloon glows throughout the throughout the weekend, and it, there is something for everyone. Concerts, we we can dig can into anybody, all of that. Can anybody volunteer to join one of the balloon crews? 
Yeah, so if you're looking for balloon opportunities or balloon um, volunteering opportunities with that whole weekend event, um, go to the website, fourcornersballoonrally.com, and all of the volunteer opportunities will be listed there with details on on events and, and those kinds of things. Awesome. But yeah, if you're interested, um, definitely definitely check out that website. All right, so Friday, September 29th, 7 a.m., Mass Ascension at mm-hmm. Lake Farmington. Everybody look up or go out to the lake, watch those balloons come out. 5.30 that evening, San Juan College putting on another great GLOW event, which mm-hmm. last year was awesome, and they're going to have food and vendors and live, live entertainment, entertainment. Mm-hmm. Uh, going on there. And that's 5.30 to 8. So Saturday, we got the Mass Ascension 6 o'clock that night. There's going to be a, a kind of a joint event at the Farmington Museum, which if you haven't been to the Farmington Museum, I still get people who've never been on the back side of the museum <laughs> right against the river um we just had our state conference for the municipal league there and it's just such a beautiful setting and so if you haven't been there there's oktoberfest going on as well as a balloon glow mm-hmm. uh saturday night starting at six o'clock mm-hmm. then it's going to be our second concert out at ricketts in the last two years and we're going to have jefferson starship which i've people are just astounded that we got jefferson starship here mm-hmm. and we're going to allow people to be on the ricketts field uh, for lawn tickets that are for sale as well as stadium tickets mm-hmm. uh, to enjoy Jefferson Starship. Yep. That's huge. Check, check, check. You got it. You're <laughs> on it, Mayor. Yeah, so I'm excited. This is, look, I even got my pin. I got my Balloon Rally pin. Yeah, all right. Are we going to be selling any of this kind of gear? Those year? will be for sale. Oh, uh-huh. fun. fun. Yeah, the balloon pins. Are we doing any t-shirts or anything like that? Um, t-shirts. I know if you would like a volunteer t-shirt, you there can you sign up to be a volunteer. Be a volunteer. I know that for sure. Um but yeah, we are really excited about the concert at Ricketts. Um, and as you've said, we've got stadium um, field seats and stadium seats. The lawn seats are $30 per person and the stadium seats are 20. And if you wanna pre-purchase those tickets, they're on sale now. You can do that at the Civic Center ticket booth box office, or you can go online to the website, fmtn.org backslash shows. So get your yeah. tickets today. Jamie, did you see the Guess Who last year? I did see the Guess Who. Wasn't that a rocket it show? It was. It was. We were we got tickets. We were sitting there in the bleachers. No, we loved it. It was great. The sound was yeah. amazing. It was great. I'm yeah. glad you I mean, I'm glad that we it had such a good experience last year so that you could open it up a little bit more and get people down on the field, right. but last year was your learning year and yep. we all have that with events. So I just think it's it's great. And how many balloons will you have this year? Do you have a number yet? We'll have somewhere between 25 and 30. Oh, that's great. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's going to be really cool. Um, very excited about that. And that kind of kicks off in my mind. We've had some other events here recently. But for me, this is also part of kicking off fall here mm-hmm. in the area. And being able to see, you know, just, just from above what's going on below from the balloons, uh, which I'm never going to be in. <laughs> what? Uh, I want to go. You've never ridden in a balloon, no Mayor? I want to. You need to, what? No way. How can I help you with this decision? <laughs> <laughs> Sign him up. You really need to experience this. That's what I hear. <laughs> yes, you need to do it. You're on air. I, I would just make him say it on air. And then fear it's. fear of the balloon. Oh, well, we've got to get over that fear. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> we'll talk about it. How's that? All You're right. <laughs> so that's the first big event. Yes. Yes. There's other, there's other events that we're going to talk about today. Yes. Natalie, let's stick with you because... Um, Road Apple Rally has been the nation's nation's longest running mountain bike race. Is this still true? That's absolutely still correct. And this year, we've added some additional components to the Road Apple Rally. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's bigger and better than ever, Mm -hmm. which is my favorite phrase, bigger than better than ever. Um, What what are we doing for Road Apple Rally? Yeah, so it's going to be... And a multi-day event. You know, we've done multi-day parts to that event over the years. But um, this year, Friday, um, October 6th, we're going to do the downtown bike party. And that's going to be from 5 to 8 p.m. We're going to have a beer garden and dinner, uh, courtesy of Clancy's, at the Civic Center. But another really cool part of this, and you don't have to be a mountain biker to come out and enjoy this. This is a party. We want people to come downtown, really enjoy the amenities and the experience and atmosphere of of our amazing downtown area. But we're going to have an outdoor gear and bike swap. So if you've got some gear, or you've you know graduated to a different size, or and it's still got some good use in it, bring that stuff out. We want to just swap it around, um, you know, get it in the hands of somebody who can use it to go out and enjoy our outdoor amenities here. Um, so that'll be really fun. Um, again, it doesn't have to be just bike mountain biking gear. It can be cycling, camping, hiking, climbing, paddling. 
snowboarding, whatever, whatever you're trying to get into the hands of somebody who can use it, you certainly can bring that out and swap it. Um, we'll also have um, vendors there, 505 Cycles, Sandstone Cycles, Bistai Bicycles, Barefoot Bicycles, Jack's Plastic Welding. So we'll have a lot of our good partners out there um, just um, joining in that event. But it's going to be really fun um, on the front um, plaza area of the Civic Center. So come out and join us. Yeah, there's also a community bike cruise That's with the correct. Farmington Rangers, which is yeah. awesome. And then, um, and then on Saturday is the actual bike race. Yes. And by the way, I'm looking at my my, <laughs> Your my phone here. Well, <laughs> this is you know it's important. People still ask me where can I go to find events. Right. Yep. And I, I just want to reiterate, as we do many times on the show, that FarmingtonNM.org, mm-hmm. FarmingtonNM.org, is your one-stop shop for most everything that's happening here, um, in really in San Juan County. Uh, so even if it's not in Farmington, a lot there's a lot of events here happening in Aztec and Bloomfield, and they're all located on this uh, this fantastic website that Visit Farmington has put together, mm-hmm. Tony Stenson, which we appreciate. Uh, but yes, the next morning, and let me ask you this: so this. What's the cutoff date for people to register for the actual mountain bike races? So the race is on Saturday. They need to be probably registered by Thursday. Um, you can do that online or you can go into the Farmington Recreation Center so to register. So October 5th, right? Yeah. it would be that Thursday? Yeah. And you can do that by going to the rec center? Mm-hmm. Okay. Farmington Recreation That's Center. That's good enough. Awesome. And there's multiple races involved uh, that Saturday, by the way. Mm-hmm. So, yep, we've yeah. got a 30 mile single loop um, course and then a 15 mile course, too. So, yep, challenge yourself if you've done the 15 mile course for a few times, maybe try that 30 mile course out or that loop. My friend Mike Zimes mm-hmm. is a stellar 15 mile course racer. He, I think he won it uh, two years ago, maybe. But there's, there's pro, there's different divisions, which I think is great. There's pro categories one, two, and three, single speed, Clydesdale categories two and three mm-hmm. and athena category two and three which i don't know what those mean clydesdale is a horse to me so are we riding clydesdales on the road apple rally i don't know yeah there are different classes i know there's a single speed class and that blows my mind that people will ride a single speed out there on that course mm-hmm. there are people that do it every year and they are very successful and i'm just like that's yeah. incredible <laughs> Is there an e-bike race? Can I join the e-bike race? <laughs> not yet, Mayor. <laughs> that is not a section yet. Right, well, maybe next year. <laughs> if you go up on a balloon this year, maybe, maybe there'll maybe. be an yeah, e-bike next there. year. Looky there. Uh, we also have FAST. Yep. So our, our wonderful local nonprofit mountain bike group, FAST, will be out there. They're going to be doing a mountain bike skills course with the Farmington, uh, with kids mm-hmm. here. Uh, that's Farmington area single track, sorry. And then there's also going to be a food and beer garden Um courtesy of Clancy's so mm-hmm. another a, yeah. all these beer gardens going on. I know it's gonna be a lot of beer flowing in Farmington. <laughs> yeah, another new piece to the road apple rally is um, Saturday evening we're gonna do we're offering a free premiere of the new film the movie the engine inside and that will be um, airing at the Tota theater at 7 30 p.m. Um, and it's just following the lives of six individuals from diverse backgrounds who have devoted themselves to a simple age-old machine the bicycle, the bicycle. Um, through their struggles and challenges witnessed how bicycles have the potential to transform lives and contribute to a better world so a good feel-good movie um, tied to bicycling very appropriate for the weekend of the road apple rally so Again, you don't have to be participating in the Road Apple Rally to come in and That's enjoy a video or a movie premiere at the Toe Talk. Well, there's so many accessible components to this, mm-hmm. you know, which, which is really important in a community. Um, it, it hits all areas of, mm-hmm. of our people. And I think, including Toe Talk, we also just recently had another outdoor recreation movie at Toe Talk. Um, and then, so this will be our second one there at that beautiful theater that we've renovated and just encourage people to come out and, and check out. It's turned out really nice. Mm-hmm. So awesome. So that is the first event for that weekend. And we're going to move to you, Jamie. <laughs> um, because a part of that weekend is also other things that are going yes. on that the Chamber's involved with downtown. Yes. Uh, which, you know, earlier off camera, you made a comment, so I'm just going to reiterate it. Okay. We want to get people into downtown. Yeah. You know, we've renovated this space so that it's friendly for pedestrians and mountain bikers and bikers and um, just so that it could be a place where entrepreneurs can find their place as well. And we know that the more people that we attract into these areas, the more likely we will have businesses pop up that will serve those folks and it will be a cyclical, you know, type, uh, you know, economic development opportunity for us. So I appreciate that the chamber has taken 
taken a turn. It's this is our third year now. Second. Was it? Is it really? This the is second? our yeah. Last year was our first year that we had it downtown. Really? Okay. How and it was third. And now, this, so this will be the second. So, okay. and as you mentioned, the the Chile and Oktoberfest event has been going on for a long time. But last year, I really wanted to make that move into downtown because we want to help these downtown businesses um, thrive, and so we want to help be the ones to drive customers into those businesses. Yep. And so a great way to do that and to highlight how amazing the downtown is is by moving that chili in Oktoberfest downtown and we weren't sure what the feedback would be last year with the with the move but overwhelmingly it was so positive not just from the people who attended but the cooks the chili cooks really liked it better downtown and so it was you know we were really glad it worked out so well last year and we're excited to be downtown again this year and we are sort of collaborating with some other events going on so it's the southwest apple and chili fest to really recognize and celebrate our roots if you will pun intended in ag in agriculture here in this in san juan county so from apple orchards to chili to all the outdoor um you know the farmer's market food hub and all the different things that we have going on that celebrate agriculture so that is why it is now called the Southwest Apple and Chili Fest if you're wondering sure and th so Thursday there is the Maker's Market going on and then Friday night there is the downtown art walk at the same time that the bike party is happening at the Civic Center and the bike swap and party and then uh, so there's the, the art walk and then the very next morning we we close traffic starting at about 5 a.m. downtown and then our chili cooks begin arriving at about 6 a.m. and start setting up and cooking and then uh, gates open at 11 so people can start tasting chili. I think it's outstanding. It's one of my favorite events. Yeah, obviously. it's a great event. I'm a big chili fan, so that's, yes. you know, I don't know if anybody noticed that yes. or not. But um, I do want to make this point because the Maker's Market actually is going on every Thursday right. and has been at Orchard Park. And, you know, I love driving down there and seeing all the folks that are out selling their wares. And it attracts a pretty good crowd of people. So it, it does kick off with that Maker's Market um, and then the Art Walk, which, again, downtown, if you look at what the investments that have been made in – the uh, public art sculptures that are there now with the murals that have been put on our buildings um, throughout the area and you, the, we want to make this a really cool art space too so uh, it has so much potential and I think we're, we're meeting that potential these events I think really encourage that well we had uh, I think we had close to 800 people last year downtown throughout the entire day I, I talked to a couple of stores after the event and they were so happy with it because they were busy all day long and that's that was our goal is to get people downtown I would expect we'll probably have more people this year um, we we were happy that we are actually extending the venue so we've included all the way down to Lock Street last year I went to Barron it was our first year downtown I wasn't sure all the logistics this year we actually have from Orchard Park all the way down to Lock Street and we will have two live bands one at Orchard Park Plaza one at Lock Street and he uh, Lock Street will have a lot of family oriented activities so he's gonna have a bouncy house and he's gonna have a lot I think he'll have cornhole so he'll have that going on at that end uh, we have a competition between Farmington Fire and San Juan County Sheriff cooking chili to see who has the best chili that will be down in that area as well and then we will have two beer and wine gardens Clancy's is gonna be busy this weekend because Clancy's yeah. is one of them I don't know how Louis is doing all this stuff but he seems to he's got it handled but so they're going to be at Allen and Maine and then uh, we will have another beer and wine garden up at Orchard Park Plaza and that is where Joker's Wild will be playing all day so and it is a family event if you um, if you come to the event and you want to taste chili you have to get a wristband it's $20 for unlimited tastes of chili but kids 12 and under are free and we do have about three vendors that will be there that are perfect for kids so we have things for the kiddos too if they don't like chili and then we also this year are doing something fun if you bring a pair of old eyeglasses and you donate them to at the gate, we'll have a box there. You get five dollars off your wristband. So um, that that's a cool thing we're doing with the Lions Club. So uh, it's just so much fun, and we are getting more and more cooks every year. You know, we were on such a we were on doing so well before COVID, and then everything, as you know. We all had to take that break and, and sort of get things going again, get the, the wheels going on these events. And so it's been great to see how the community has welcomed not only Chile and Oktoberfest, but every event going on is well attended. So I think that just shows how, how much we appreciate all these great events that happen in our community. Absolutely. And that, 
the Apple Festival part of it, which you know we we've incorporated, and, and Bev and Tom Taylor have been um, just really great proponents of this. There's going to be book signings yes. um, that Friday night, and there's going to be historic photos of the history of the apple orchards in San Juan County uh, with the Farmington Museum, children's activities at the Museum of Navajo Hearts and Culture, which we took all the, the mayors and the city managers and everybody through the mm -hmm. the uh, the museum here a couple weekends ago and just fantastic feedback and it's just a beautiful facility and amazing to see all the rugs and everything so i'm glad we're utilizing that space as well but yeah lots of lots of great things happening yeah and speaking of apples because i do want to just uh tell everybody we do have an apple tie-in with chili fest so if you don't want to cook six gallons of chili that's not your thing but you have a great apple dessert you can enter an apple dessert to our judges so um last year i think we had five different apple it could be apple pie or apple muffins or apple crisp or whatever your dessert or apple themed food is we just need it down at zm media that's our that's that's our HQ for this event. The folks down there always let us use their space. So Zia Media, just bring in your um, Apple dish by 1030 so that our judges can sample it. And then we will award the best Apple dessert prize. And so again, this is not for the public consumption. It's for our judges. So if you want more information on the Apple bit, you can just give me a call at the chamber and we'll make sure that you know about that. But that's something we're doing to try to tie into that whole Apple theme. So. What's the final date for people to sign up to cook? Well, I will take cooks even the day before. I mean, I have lots of room. I would prefer at least a week before. I would prefer that I know all of the cooks by October 1st. But sometimes people are still trying to get their team together. And, you know, but we can accommodate because I do have that space. And since they're bringing all of their equipment, they're bringing their cookers and their ingredients and their tables and their canopies. So we can accommodate even if it's somebody last minute. So it's exciting. It is a big production. It is a big yeah. production. Yes. It yeah. is. Thank you for saying it's, that. It's a it big is. production. Well, even for the, I mean, for each of the cooks who has to come in, mm -hmm. and I mean, the people who help set it up, it takes a lot of volunteers, and um, I just appreciate yeah. everybody who comes out to support the event, volunteer for the events, and you know, we've talked about events here before on the show, and the need for people to continue to give of their time and of their energy to ensure that these kind of great events have longevity associated with them. Jamie's not always going to be around to run the chili, the chili oh, festival. That's probably <laughs> Natalie's true. Natalie's not always going to be around to run <laughs> parks and recreation. We need to make sure that our, our, you know, our community understands that because we have to fill those ranks, mm -hmm. um, replenish ourselves, you know, as, as time goes on. So it's good to get involved, volunteer, learn how things work and learn how you can be, you know, a better part of, of that engine that makes it go. So, and I'm really glad you said that I was talking to, um, Another group of people the other day, it was actually the Key Club volunteers at Farmington High School. I was at the high school and we were talking to some of their volunteers for our Women's Summit because they help out with the Women's Summit. And I was explaining to them that no event in this town or this county happens without volunteers. From everything from the county fair to every parade to Connie Mack to the balloon rally, every event that happens that, you know, that we love about our community, it all None of it would happen without volunteers because I'm sure Natalie can can agree we don't have enough staff to run all these events and all the pieces that need to be done. So it's volunteers who really make these events happen, yeah. and it's extremely important because everybody loves all the events, but they can't happen unless there's volunteers. Right. So, and I'll be, I'll just tell folks a lot of times people are very apprehensive about taking that first step forward to be a part of these groups that are doing it, but once you take that first step, mm -hmm. man, it's so rewarding. Um, as somebody, Natalie and I, this room that we're in right now, my first steps in getting involved in community volunteering happened here with Natalie in this very space, you know, <laughs> did, back yeah. in back in 2010. Uh -huh. And it's been amazing the journey that, that I've been on and we've been on together. And I, I just, it's provided my life so much more quality than what I would have had otherwise. Yeah. And I, I think for people who are, you know, there's a lot of Monday Monday quarterbacks, Monday morning quarterbacks mm -hmm. who, well, this event, that, well, get involved in the events, yeah. you know, and come with a positive attitude and bring your bring your effort behind it, and let's make these events the best that we can. And this one week, this this ten day period of of stuff that we're talking about is an example of people who said, let's celebrate our community in these ways, let's make this happen, and and I just can't wait i hope everybody else is excited as we are about just talking about yeah. it because there's going to be so much to go on for everybody 
Yep, it's going to be great. Yep. It's going to be a real celebration of our downtown and our community and the balloon rally and just such such a variety too of things happening between the road apple and the you know there's just a lot happening and yeah yep, it's a well, great think, time of year i think it's such a great testament to our community too because we are a community this size able to host <laughs> yes. so many multiple very very big events mm -hmm. in our community and they're all successful and that too i just want to point that out that we do live in a wonderful community and and it is because of those that do get up and volunteer and and you jamie and mayor just for supporting um the work of our community it's it's a fun fun community to live in for sure i mean by the way there's a lot of other things happening that weekend too that we're not <laughs> yes, talking sir. about <laughs> right and then there's there's the events that just happened like the four by four mm -hmm. takeover mm -hmm. and we rock national championships and i mean stair climb the stair i mean and then there was connie mack that just happened before that. i mean it's just, just this ongoing uh calendar of things that really if you're not getting on farmingtonnm.org go there um and you will be absolutely overwhelmed with oh my gosh there is so much to do how can I do all of it? <laughs> <laughs> you can try. That's the challenge. You yeah. can try. That's to what do we should it do. All. We should get like a bingo card. Oh, that's to true. To start the summer and like put all these yes. events on a bingo card, and then okay. we give out prizes for people who oh. show up to those. You events. could do it if you were organized. You could do it. I mean, if yeah. you organized, yes. and you you run on coffee and, and very little yes. sleep. <laughs> you exactly. Man, there's a, an array of energy drinks out there now. Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, yes. it's crazy it's, to me how many different energy drinks there are. <laughs> I think I've tried them all. Um, all right. Anything else to add? So did uh, one thing I wanted to throw in sure. there was our September focus on Farmington Coffee, which oh, is yeah. being sponsored this month. We're collaborating with Aztec. We do that every so often with our coffee so we can highlight everything going on in our entire community and um, region. So the coffee is the 29th, which I believe is a mass ascension, correct, mm -hmm. with the yep. balloons. But that mass ascension usually happens about 7 a.m. Uh -huh. Our coffee starts at 9, and it will be at the, his at the Pioneer Village in, in Aztec. Aztec. So you could go to the mass ascension or drive and see all the balloons on your way to get coffee. So we're excited to celebrate the Historical Society. They are going to be a vendor as well at Chile in Oktoberfest, as you mentioned, with their, their book signing and celebrating the Red Apple... What was it called? The little train, the Red Apple, Red Apple Flyer. The Red Apple Flyer. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's tying in. So there. So we're excited to be doing our coffee there in Aztec, September 29th. Free coffee open to anybody in the community who wants to attend. Awesome. Yep. Well, I'm glad you brought that up too because... Yeah. I also want to mention one more thing, just a shout out to my friends at Aztec and the Aztec Highland Games, mm -hmm. which is another fantastic event. And if you've never gone out and seen men in kilts throw <laughs> large <laughs> phone poles or hammers or had sheep. a Scottish egg. It's not sheep. And eaten Scottish <laughs> food and listened to. Last year, I listened to a band that was playing a mix of Celtic and Pink Floyd. <laughs> wow. and, it, and my daughter and I just had to stop and hang out and sit on the grass and check yeah. check out the show. So. Lots of great music, lots of great food, and lots of great fun out at the Aztec Highland Games as well that weekend. So, you know, we've done a mayor's table where I've gone to all the events. <laughs> um, it was pretty incredible. Yeah. It was quite yeah. the experience, yeah. All right, so if you've got the energy and you've got the <laughs> desire, first volunteer, yes. first yes. and foremost, for these yes. events. Um, you can actually check out volunteer opportunities on the uh, City of Farmington's Facebook, or Facebook page, their website, fmtn.org. If you're looking for where these all these events are happening and their schedule, go to farmingtonnm.org. Uh, so volunteer first if you can. If you can't, show up and have a good time. Uh, bring your best attitude. Wear sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> Come prepared for, just like we talk about. And we want to make sure you're prepared for wherever you're going out here. Yeah. Uh, but uh, get out and get involved in the things happening here in your community. Ladies, thank you for joining me. Thank you for all you do, amazing work that you do. And we will see you out at the events here this fall. 